Hey, today's question of the day is what do you do when a client wants a new website? Do you show them your templates and your demo so they know exactly what they're going to get when they get your new service based website? And my answer is no, we don't show them the template or the demo ahead of time. What we do is we show them our portfolio. And so our portfolio speaks for itself. And when we speak to clients on the initial sales call, we'll say, you're going to take a look at our portfolio and you're going to see that you see some similarities in the layouts between the different websites in your specific industry. Uh, but what we do to that layout is we customize it with your colors, your logo, your pictures, your text. So your website, the end result of your website will be completely unique. It's going to have your pictures on it, your logo, your color schemes, text about your business, but it's going to be based on a layout and the number of pages that we already know works for your industry. So we don't show clients uh, the demo ahead of time. We don't, uh, phone call. We don't show clients a demo ahead of time. We don't show them any information or a layout or the templates. We simply show them our portfolio. So now the question is, well, how do you build a portfolio if you don't have any clients? And the reality is that most times clients actually don't ask to see the work ahead of time. Now, maybe this is because they've already been to our website. They've already seen our portfolio. They've already checked out the work. So that's a possibility. But in many cases, uh, clients just understand that we're the experts as web designers in their specific industry and, and they're willing to trust that. But if you need to get clients ahead of time and you don't have a portfolio, then I would suggest doing a few websites for free for clients. And so you're going to do uh, a couple websites based on your layout, best, based on your template already for clients and see how their information fits into your layout. Is there something you're missing or something that's extra that's not necessary? And what I might do is I might say, listen, we're going to build this website for you and we're going to give you six months free of our service package. And after six months, it's going to be X number of dollars per month. So in the end, you are getting your costs coming back to you. You're recuperating your costs. You're still building recurring revenue, but because you don't have anything to show up front, maybe those clients are interested in working with you because they like you and they trust you and they see that you're an expert, but they also might be a little bit hesitant because they can't necessarily see any of your work. So a great way to say is we're going to give you a year up front and then it'll be this much per month after that, or six months up front and then it'll be this much per month after that point in time. Do that two or three times and then by by number four, you should be charging full price right up front for your website. You've got three in your portfolio to show off and there's no need to continue doing free websites for such uh, for, you know, any amount of time. Okay. So one, maybe two, maybe three websites are free or a delayed service package. And then after that, you charge every single time. Just remember that this strategy to build a portfolio is a temporary strategy in order to build up your portfolio. This is not a long-term strategy. So you might say, we're going to do a few months free and then your service package will take over after that. And by website number four, you're going to charge your regular service package on the first of every month. And then that way clients can see that your work is or what your work is like based on your portfolio. Let's go build that agency.